You've just finished editing your audio in Audacity, and it sounds exactly the way you want. But now comes the big question. How do you actually save it? And more importantly, how do you export it so you can share it, play it on any device, or upload it online? That's what this tutorial is all about. By the end, you'll know the difference between saving and exporting, and you'll be able to create high-quality MP3 or WAV files with confidence. Let's start with saving. When you save a project in Audacity, you're not creating a regular audio file. Instead, you're creating a project file. This is meant for ongoing editing inside Audacity itself. Think of it like saving a Word document that only Microsoft Word can open. To do this, go to the top menu and click on File, then choose Save Project. Audacity will ask you to give your project a name and choose a location. Once you save, you'll see a file with the extension, AUP3. That's your Audacity project. The key thing to remember here is that this file only works in Audacity. You can't double-click it and expect it to play in your music app or upload directly to YouTube. It's purely for editing later. Now, let's move on to exporting, which is what you'll use when you want your audio to be playable outside of Audacity. Head back to the menu, click File, then choose Export. Here, you'll see several options, but the two most common are Export as MP3 and Export as WAV. So what's the difference? MP3 is the universal format. It's smaller in file size, easy to share, and works on pretty much every device and platform. If you're uploading a podcast, sending a song to a friend, or just want something lightweight, MP3 is usually the best choice. Wave, on the other hand, is uncompressed and gives you maximum audio quality. The trade-off is that the files are much larger. Wave is the way to go if you're archiving a project, sending it for professional mixing, or you just want the best possible sound without worrying about size. Once you choose your format, Audacity will ask you where to save the file and what to name it. You can also adjust the export settings, like the MP3 bitrate or WAV quality, depending on your needs. After you click Save, Audacity will process your project and create a standard audio file you can play anywhere. And that's it. You now know the two sides of saving in Audacity. Use Save Project when you want to come back and keep editing. Use Export when you're done and ready to share or play your audio outside the program. With this simple distinction, you'll never get confused about why a file doesn't open or why you can't upload your project directly. From now on, you're in full control of both your editable projects and your finished audio files.